There was the parking lights on the 40 Ford. First one was gone, and then the other one went missing. Then you found one at a salvage yard and said you'd find another. Then you sell me the parts and say you didn't want to, but I insist. I had to buy those parts. And one of the parking lights doesn't match, but nobody's going to know anyway. Well, I don't know. So mad. What happened? Franklin stole the parking lights from your father. The sheriff's been at our trailer. Back. Get back. Put your head. State of Oklahoma versus Franklin Moses. Mr. Moses, you want to come forward, sir? Step right up here. Mr. Moses, I'm going to hand you an information which alleges you committed the crime of uh, larceny from a business. That's your true and correct name? Yes, sir. Do the victims wish to proceed in this case? Let you know when you're charged with a crime here in Oklahoma, Mr. Moses, you have certain constitutional rights. The first of those rights is to have an attorney to represent you. If you want to have an attorney, you should hire one. If you can't afford one, one can be appointed for you. This is a misdemeanor today. You need to enter a plea of not guilty, guilty, or no contest. How do you plead today, sir? Guilty, I guess. Okay, Mr. Combs, you got a recommendation for the state? Your Honor, I would recommend 30 days in the county jail since this is his first offense. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Moses? I didn't, I didn't mean to, you know. I had the parts. My dad insisted on buying them. I, I couldn't tell him that I hadn't paid for them yet, and I don't deserve, I don't deserve to be. I think that's about all I need to hear on this, Mr. Moses. It appears that you just got caught in the Red Sea in this deal. Of course, going to sentence you to 30 days in the county jail. Sheriff, come take this man away. Eine Schulter. 